Hello there. I'm a creative, intuitive, artistic person. I thrive on emotions. I'm, I'm a right-brained person. Hello. I'm a logical, factual, no-nonsense person. I thrive on logic. I'm a left-brained person. Fascinating, isn't it? Except this is one of the biggest and most pervasive myths in pop neuroscience. It's just not true. Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy. Ah, the famous right brain, left brain myth. You have no idea how often I've been asked about this one. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the left brain, right brain theory, it says that the right hemisphere of our brain processes emotions and is the center for creativity. And the left hemisphere of our brain processes analytical skills and logic. Logical. And so some people are right-brained or, or left-brained, or at least have a dominance in one of both hemispheres. That's the theory, or rather the hypothesis. So where is this coming from? Well, as often happens with brain myths, it's based on real facts that have been taken out of context and blown out of proportion. Our brain has two hemispheres, and since the 1960s, we know that these hemispheres are responsible for different things. Kinda. So let's take language, for example. Language, as far as we know, is processed by the left brain in the Broca region. However, the right brain helps us understand context and tone, and in some people, it's actually on the right side altogether. Hmm. Other example. The left brain handles mathematical equations, but it's the right brain which does the comparisons and rough estimates. You see, the brain is incredibly complex and extremely interconnected. Both hemispheres are connected through the corpus callosum, a thick bundle of nerve fibers which makes it possible that both hemispheres collaborate on any number of tasks. They mostly work together and complement each other. It's not as if we use one side at a time and then switch from left to right. No, of course not. <laughs> we use our whole brain in a highly sophisticated way where complex activities are run by complete networks of neurons spanning both hemispheres. We are not right-brained or left-brained. We are not even right-brained dominant or left-brained dominant. Because if we were, you would expect to have one hemisphere more developed than the other, right? Showing more connections and a higher neuron density. Guess what? It's not happening. When you cut a brain open, you won't find that because that's not what's happening. Many studies have debunked this myth. So yes, there is hemispheric lateralization of functions, with language being the most notorious example, but it has to be seen in a context within a network of complementary functionalities. And <laughs> there is one exception though. Oh, don't. There is one exception to this rule. <laughs> Do, don't do the it. The only one that I will admit. Oh, he's doing and it. And it has to do with Donald Trump. You know, up here, very important. They're gonna burn us. So, listen. Donald Trump uh, has a dual brain. In his left brain, there's nothing right. And in his right brain, there's nothing left. Oh, wow, it's funny. If you're a Donald Trump fan, you, you obviously have a thick skin and you understand that, that this is a joke uh, that can be applied to, to anybody, right? Yeah, but it's funnier with Donald. Oh, come on, shut up. I, I'm sorry, look. No, you're I, I'm not. I'm so sorry. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I tried to have a serious conversation here. Yeah, and it was boring. Yeah, but at least I wasn't offending anyone. I'm not offending. I'm entertaining. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.